Good morning, YouTube. Today, we've got a wrench on a Ferrari 488. So, are you recording all of the nefarious activities? If you're new to the channel, my name is Dan, and this is my garage, and this channel is all about the supercar ownership experience, and let me tell you, this 488 is disgustingly awesome. It is black on black on black, and it has carbon fiber everything. Yeah, this is the one you want. It's been lowered, it's got the exhaust, we're adding more carbon fiber parts, we're getting it tuned, it's just gonna be badass. This is it right here. So if you wanna get cars like this and parts like you're about to see in this video, reach out to us, send us an email, sales at normalguyssupercar.com or check out our website, normalguyssupercar.com or NG Supercars. There you can buy parts, services, or even cars from us. We do appreciate when you guys support us, but let me show you what's underneath the cover and you can all bow in its glory. This car is just, oof. I don't like black, but dear God, that just, oh, it's, like, it's so good. So we got the wheels painted black. They were originally like a metallic -y color. Let's see. Oh man, look at this. Just everything. Authentic details did the paint correction on it. They put the PPF on it and oh, jeez, look at that. Just a little ducktail spoiler. I really like this. Like, I hate when you put big spoilers on Ferraris. It just doesn't look quite right. But this little ducktail, especially being in carbon fiber. Mm, yeah. Already got a ton of carbon fiber in the engine bay. So you're thinking, well, what else can we add that's carbon fiber? Well, we can add interior parts. So we're going to add a bunch of interior bits. And we also even have carbon fiber blades that go here. I'm scared of that. I don't know how in the hell you get in here to remove these blades. That looks like a complete nightmare. I don't think I want to do that. Yeah. Oh, what happened here? Oh, Capristo. Hmm. Yes. Oh, what are we here? Oh, yes. This is exotic. This is exotic car gear. They are one of our favorite suppliers of the stuff. Look at that. Just looks amazing. Let's pop out those ECUs and get those shipped out and get it tuned. Since we're gonna pull out the ECUs, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the battery. We don't want any sort of electrical charge on those ECUs when we pull them. It's just not worth the risk on these cars. Just don't ever risk the ECUs. Trust me on this one, they're very, very expensive. So, battery, yeah, down here, mm, my favorite. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. There's a little thing to unscrew. At least this one's a hand one. There's that. And there it is. Oh, there it is. Click connect. Oh, they moved it. That's nice. That's a lot easier. Come on. No battery. Oh, I gotta plug it back in, open up the door. Yeah, pro tip on these Ferraris, always make sure the doors are opened or the windows are rolled down before pulling the battery because otherwise you can accidentally damage the windows. So there we go, doors open. Now we can pull this. This is so much nicer than the 488, or the 458, where it's on the top of the battery. Much, much better design. So Ferrari likes to change around the position of the ECUs on various cars. Sometimes they're in the back, sometimes they're in the cabin. This time they're in the back. Usually they're in the cabin. So for the 458, F430, 360, they were all in the cabin behind the seats. Well, heh, they moved it on us. It is right here, just above the wheel. So we're gonna have to jack this car up, pull off the wheel, pull off the fender liner, get the ECUs out and then ship them in. Yeah, sweet. I don't want to tie up my jack. As soon as we do pull the ECUs, this car is going to be disabled and I don't want it like taking up my lift for, you know, weeks or it won't be weeks. It'll be a week, one, one week. I don't want, still, I don't want that. <sighs> Let's jack it up, get the wheels off and do this whole thing. Here's the one part about having a lowered car that sucks is you really have to have a very low profile jack. Look at this thing. This is a super low profile jack and it barely fits under this thing. So there's no way in hell 
any sort of normal jacks ever gonna fit on this thing. So the wheel's out of the way, we just gotta pull off the fender liners. I don't know if it's on the rear or the front one. Oh well, they're not that bad on the 48, so a bunch of four millimeter Allens everywhere. Well, good news, we only have to pull the front fender liner because remember the back fender liner, you have to pull off the diffuser to get to that one last bolt. Well, uh, there you go, there it is. So let's pop off these Allens and un disconnect the uh, wiring harness and then out it comes. So these guys are completely different than the other design. There's actually a tab that you push up that releases the holder. They also, as you can see, have way more pins. Like this thing has a ton more pins than the old style ECUs that they were using. Still made, uh, still a Bosch Motronic, but obviously a newer version of it. So we're gonna write on this that this was the passenger side. We're gonna take it off this bracket if we can and then box it up very very carefully so it doesn't get damaged and we now repeat on the other side okay i have a feeling that uh i may have only needed to pull this one because the other one looks different and i was reading online and most people were talking about only pulling the driver's side and i didn't see much about pulling the passenger side and i don't have any instructions to tell me which one i need to pull so that's why i pulled both but i think i'm gonna just ship both i don't know what i'm supposed to do here because i have no instructions so I would rather ship both and then them be like, oh, we didn't need the second one, then ship one and them be like, oh, we need the other one. So uh, here's the driver's side and we'll label it and off they go. Here I was thinking I'll just be working in the interior, staying clean and yeah, that 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 didn't happen. Anyway, uh, there you go. So we'll get those shipped off, get them tuned, sent back and as they have more power, no check engine light stuff's gonna be good we'll join you when those come back and when we have time to install the carbon fiber stuff so hang on we're not done here eventually all right youtube it's been about a week and we have the ecus back from being tuned so we're going to get those into the 488 and get it started today i also want to show you here is some of the carbon fiber stuff that we are putting in this car and it's insane so this is all from exotic car gear we sell all of this check this out holy cow i was laughing because it came in this big box and the box weighed almost nothing and well it's because it's all carbon fiber parts so i mean here's the center bridge with you know this is gonna be like the reverse button and uh, uh launch control you've got these little rear things that go onto the rear vents shift paddles you've got an oil cap the binnacle center wheel caps center control stack and the controls for the AC, all of this. And believe it or not, there's more coming. So this is just the start of it. Holy crap, that is a lot of carbon fiber. And this car is going to look absolutely evil and disgusting with just carbon fiber drenched everywhere, black everywhere. Yeah, it's gonna be sick. All right, so let's get the ECUs in there. Let's get started. Jack it up, get the wheels off, and pop in those ECUs. All right, so just like before, we're gonna take off the wheel. That'll give us better access to reconnect the ECU, get that mounted, and then we'll put back in the, uh, the fender liner. Yay. Okay, so first thing is let's reattach the ECU to the mounting bracket using these Torx, I believe they're T27s. Okay, ECU is mounted back in its place, reconnected the connectors, so it is all set on this side. Now we just got to put in the fender liner. And before we do that, since I have those uh, carbon fiber center wheel caps, we're gonna replace those on this guy, and then we'll also do the front wheel before I release the jack. Okay, this side's all done, torqued down, and you can see we also did the cap on this wheel too. Oh yeah, that's looking good. All right, all set, torqued down, ECU's in place. So let's reconnect the battery and start it up and see what it sounds like. And yeah, we'll have uh, probably about 100 more horsepower. Okay, let's reconnect the negative terminal and we should have power come back on. Okay, and this thing goes actually behind that. No, no, stop it. Let's try it that way. There. That's a little better. There. Okay, YouTube, we're crawling in. 
And anytime you pull the battery in these cars, the first thing you want to do is just push the engine, or you know, turn it to ignition, but don't actually start it. So there we go. And just give it a minute to like kind of reset everything, right? Turn off the AC. You can hear the computers kind of going. Probably been a minute. All right, let's give it a start. So we're gonna have to drive it a few times, make sure that the check engine light doesn't come back on, get the readiness monitors to reset, all that stuff, and then uh, we can call the tune good. So yeah, we sell those tunes. Let us know if you need to get one. Send us an email, sales at normalguysupercar.com. We'll take it out for a little drive in a minute, although it's kind of rainy. Might have to wait for it to dry up. I know you guys aren't gonna be able to tell, but it is super bassy and deep sounding. It's sort of like an awesome grumble sounds just gnarly. I love it. All right, let's take it out for a little spin. Okay, here we go. Gotta let it get warmed up a bit. All right, you can really hear those turbos whistle. See how it sounds and how it does. Ready? This is ridiculous! Holy shit! I'm in fifth gear! Ready? <laughs> Let's try it fourth gear. Ready? Oh my god! Oh, I have to have this! This is ridiculous! Okay, all of you with the 48 need to do this right now. The Klein exhaust on the tune. Oh my god. It's just insanity. Oh. Alright, we all know the 48 is a really fast car, but oh my god. Getting the exhaust on the tune, I mean, you know, they say it adds about 100 horsepower and about 100 foot pounds of torque, or possibly even more. And. It's like a whole new animal. Oh my lord. I think I need to get me one of these. Holy shit. Well anyway, yeah, if you need a client exhaust or a tune or any of those cool carbon fiber parts we have, check out our website, normalguyssupercar.com or send us an email sales at normalguyssupercar.com. And if you need to get a car, we've got some awesome cars. Yeah, that's for sale. Oh yeah, that, that already sold, sorry. Um, it's getting picked up later this week. Anyway, we'll see you guys in the next video. We're gonna be doing a lot of cool car stuff, so you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned. It's gonna be sweet.